it always comes down to actually some potential clients. I mean, a lot of times uh, you get them on the fence where they don't want to buy or they don't want to pay that price or they're trying to negotiate you down, et cetera. Um, you got to always show, I always say, especially if you're a service company, show the value add. Yeah, the price is important, don't get me wrong, but you got to make your customer recognize why, what they're getting for that dollar or whatever they're going to pay. Um, and speak like you're the expert in your field. I mean, that's exactly why. I mean, that'll sway a lot of people. Uh, but it's it's probably a daily thing for, again, for a small business owner or someone an entrepreneur growing up. You're going to have to just sway people all the time, give presentations. I mean, because the bulk of what you're going to do, and I know people always don't realize that, is that you're going to have to do a lot of business development. It's a lot of cold calling. There's a lot of things like that. There's a lot of networking. Um, so if you're timid and you're shy, um, you may want to consider other things because you're going to have to just call people and, you know, like I said, network and try to find a way in. Yeah, there's advertising ways people come to you, that's fine, but you're still going to have to sway that person because you know, the initial meeting is just that's what it is. You're going to have to convince this person. They're not ready to buy from you yet for whatever you're selling.